May the most holy name of our God Almighty be magnified. Let's have a small devotion from the book of Genesis chapter 24 beginning from verses 34. The topic is faith completed in action. Abraham had sent his servant Elias to his own country and people to look for a wife for his son from among his own people. He traveled thousands of miles and reached the house of Bethuel, Abraham's brother's son. He met Rebecca on his way and she was the one who directed him to Bethuel's house. Her brother Laban greeted them and offered great hospitality to Elias. But the servant did not want to eat food right away until the reason for his visit was presented. He introduced himself as Abraham's servant. Abraham left his city many years ago, so Laban might have wondered how Abraham was doing, was very eager to hear everything about Abraham. Eliezer's words were as a servant, giving all the glory to his master, explaining all the vast wealth of his master and explaining the wealth his son Isaac going to inherit from his father. Lord's providential care was clearly spread before Laban, Rebecca's father Bethuel, her mother and to their daughter Rebecca how God directed his ways and brought him straight to the right woman. So they did not have any doubt. The servant presented it very convincingly and honestly and they believed that the news and the proposal came from the Lord. They were excited to the proposal. Abraham never doubted God in this. Eliezer, the servant, was a faithful servant. This states, how are we to our master, Lord Jesus Christ? Are we faithful to him? Eliezer told them that his master was great. We need to tell others about the greatness and goodness of Christ. He told them that master's son is the heir of all the wealth his father has and we need to tell others that Jesus is the heir of all that God the Father has. Eliezer sought for the one who will leave everything behind and come and stay with the master. We as children of God need to leave and follow our master Lord Jesus. Eliezer Trust them for a definite reply, for a definite answer as soon as possible because they heard all about the greatness of this master Abraham and his son Isaac. There is no need to think anymore. Dear listeners, once anyone hear the good news, the great news about the Master and His Son, Lord Jesus, that person should make an immediate decision today and even now. God's provision pleased these people and their daughter Rebecca. The servant gave Rebecca more gifts in addition to the gifts he had already given her on the way. He clearly knew that she was going to be the one with all the wealth of the master. Even the family got the gifts as a demonstration of the wealth of master. Rebecca was sent away with servant 
about a thousand miles away from her parents. Naturally, parents requested to de- delay their daughter's departure to go meet her bridegroom, whom she had never met. But servant denied the request. Dear Mrs. Stairs, the world makes us to delay pursuing the Lord Jesus Christ. Then, if we listen to the world, it will be hard to exit from the world. We need to get out of the world immediately. It may devise other plans to delay us going after the Lord. Rebecca decided to leave immediately to meet the groom whom she has never met, never seen Isaac. She decided to go with this stranger, a servant, to meet her bridegroom. As soon as she saw Isaac from far, she covered her face with veil. showing respect and submission. She got off the camel. Isaac, who was taken up on the Mount Moriah for sacrifice. He was rescued from his sacrificial death by God's marvelous intervention. Now he is coming back, meeting his bride and coming together with his bride. Beautiful. While Eliezer was on a mission, Isaac was meditating, asking God's will. Meditation is much needed, especially before taking a major decision. Isaac, while coming back, saw his bride coming towards him. met his bride, loved his bride and brought her into the tent. Our Lord Jesus loves his bride, the church. He died for his bride. He is risen, he is coming back soon to take his bride home to be with him forever. Servant's faith in his prayer is amazing. He fully believed that that it was God's answer to his prayers when it really happened. Rebecca's response to whom she never met is very remarkable. By faith, she just trusted the words she heard from the servant. The faith of both these people was very active. Their faith was completed by their actions. Amen.